pioneers in weight loss surgery kolarhospital.com ludhiana punjab what's your experience after uh, switching to mini gastric bypass in these first uh, 10 days about the nausea or vomiting if we rate out of 10 was it 0 2 5 7 or more no i was very good mm-hmm. i haven't had like sometimes burning sensation okay which was fine i mm-hmm. you know uh, in a little while it subsides okay but it's not something i'm not able to handle o- overall if you compare with the band your first 10 days after mgb it's 90% better 90% better <laughs> because okay. i had really hot time And I mean, the, I had yeah. horrible time. Oh, literally. Even so. this was actually a revision case. You know, when when we are revising a surgery, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, unlike, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in direct. Uh, yes, direct, direct. Like uh, we did in her case, it was like 20 minutes procedure. Yeah. Right. So Mine was very, uh, very long. <laughs> you lost six kilos in these ten days. Yeah. So this is why we love MGB. That. patient is happy no nausea or vomiting yeah and at the same time we are losing weight mm-hmm. and um, we are eating to our capacity not ca- to the capacity of the brain mm-hmm. generally the brain is happy yeah. this is what we see in maybe more than 9 out of 10 patients the more is about uh, the more control is coming from the diet actually mm-hmm. because this is what i see 40% of my patients are not taking vitamins and uh, those who are having uh, are coming from a village background mm. they are taking a healthier diet as compared to the of course patients coming Sip- from metropolitan cities yeah. and uh, their deficiencies are way less than our you know learned uh, patients coming so from metro has yeah, enough vitamins yeah, taking uh, uh, on one hand i have a patient who is taking regular vitamins mm. on other hand illiterate patient coming from village taking no vitamins from last 10 years mm. but uh, he has uh, much better bone strength and uh, all all other parameters including uh, you know proteins hemoglobin vitamin b12 and what not actually 95% of our requirement has to come from the food oh, of these tablets cannot be a replacement for the food it can be supported that, for a while that's why we call like, it supplement yeah. because otherwise also when we check before surgery every patient has low vitamin d3 because we are not out in the sun for so long no, yeah. as it's required by the body yeah. but after bariatric surgery when you lose weight mm-hmm. then your bones will become softer because you are losing weight mm-hmm. if you are losing 50 kilos maybe 10 kilos might be coming from the bones oh. so that is what we need to understand that these surgeries are anti health i would say health Sometimes, which a common man understands to, yeah. Yeah. yeah health uh, generally by health we mean if you're looking good yeah but medically it might it be other way around insights, yes i mean inside diabetes cholesterol right. sleep apnea all those things will become better once you lose yeah. weight yeah. and uh, in the long run you have to see that you are taking healthy diet rich in proteins calcium so it comes from milk products and uh, uh, non veg you take non veg yes. chicken fish. fish so but the good thing with mini gastric bypass is that uh, um, and the eating is much more uh, comfortable and uh, you don't have that nausea and vomiting because yeah. uh, the outlet is uh, wide so